Hey y'all, what's up? I'm here another YouTube video today. Today's video is going to be an update on the mass shooting that happened in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at the synagogue. Um, 11 people are now confirmed dead, 8 men, 3 women. A uh, U.S. attorney in Pennsylvania filed 29 federal charges against him. He also faces local charges. Um, he has 11 counts of use of a firearm. 11 counts of obstruction of religious belief resulting in death, 11 counts of criminal homicide, 6 counts of aggravated assault, 13 counts of ethnic intimidation. In addition to federal hate crime charges and federal gun charges, um, I did find out that there was a baby naming ceremony. Some of the victims that were killed are Joyce Finnenberg, 75 of Oakland, Richard Bartreet, 65, of Ross Township. Uh, Ross Mellinger, 97, of Squirrel Hill. Jerry Robinson, 66, of Edgewood. Cecile Rothson, 59, of Squirrel Hill. David Rothson, 54, of Squirrel Hill. Bernice Simmon, uh, 84, of Wilkinsburg. Selvin Simmon, 87, of Wilkinsburg. Daniel Stein, 71, of Squirrel Hill. Melvin Max, 88, of Squirrel Hill. Arvin Young, 67 of Mount Washington. Um, you know, prayers out to all these people that I just mentioned. Um, prayers out to all their family members. Um, you know, I can't imagine what they're going through. Losing someone over somebody's hate that is something that could be prevented. Um, you know, like I said, there's so much hate in the world and so much violence that all we can do is work together and try to stop it and just work together and try to get rid of all the hate and crime and violence in the world and there's a lot more good than bad um the news just don't show all the good that's why i try and make these videos to show the good and get the information out to y'all at the same time um a lot of people are trying to get the death penalty for him which hopefully he will um like I said, this is a horrible, horrible crime that happened. Um, a lot of these people were married. Um, a lot of them were brothers and sisters and wives. And that's all going to prevent it. Um, that somebody had hate built up in them. Um, maybe it couldn't prevent it. If there was a security guard, like they've been saying in the building. Um, if they would have looked into it more, as he had hate things on his social media about Jews, like bringing the ovens back. Um, you know, gas camps, uh, concentration camps, just shooting them, um, you know, so this all could have been prevented possibly if they were looked into that more, you know. It's just sad that this stuff kind of has to happen, all these mass shootings, if they keep happening because of all the hate. Um, and there were also six people that were injured, including four police officers. Four police officers are expected to survive. Um, the other two are in critical condition, but they are expected to come out alive and survive this. Hopefully they will. Um, and also, you know, like I said, we just got to to work together. You know, these mass shootings are not going to... These mass shootings are going to continue to happen. They're going to keep happening until we as a group decide to come together and work together and put all this hate no matter whether they're black, white, Hispanic, Japanese, Chinese, Jews, gay, lesbian, whatever the case may be. Put all that behind us and just give each other respect and get respect back. And then once we get a group, you know, work together in the community, is trying to spread the word in the community. Um, this couple of people I work with at this new job, they go out and to spread the word of God and try and bring peace to the streets and there's a small group but you know it's helping because people want to keep going keep joining keep joining and you know once you get a group <laughs> and, and forms the city more you go on the news once you get the city going you know you get all over the world possibly you go on the mainstream media news just from a small group and it's possible they're doing it I mean, I'm watching it firsthand. Um, so, you know, hopefully these people and these families can get some justice and, 
you know, I won't take back what he did, but if he gets the death penalty, at least they don't have to worry about anything happening, um, you know, but prayers out to all these people that have died, all 11 of them, eight men, three women, and prayers out to the four police officers injured and the other two people that are in critical condition. I hope y'all all pull through. And like I said, take into what I said about working together and putting all this hate behind us. The only thing that's going to stop all these shootings and mass shootings and violence and hate. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments below. And if you enjoyed it, give it a like. And if you agree with what I said, drop a like. And if there's any videos y'all want me to do, let me know in the comments below. And it is also. Thank you for watching.